there, Internets. I'm Michael, and this is Two Can Play That Game. So today on the channel, we're going to start our next series of videos in our Ticket to Ride series. So we've already looked at Ticket to Ride Europe, and please do take a look at our videos on that. I'll include a li link to the playlist in the description on all the videos within this series. And this video is going to be looking at Ticket to Ride United Kingdom and Pennsylvania. Now this is the Map Collection 5, and it does require you to have either Ticket to Ride or Ticket to Ride Europe, which is why I'm recommending you check out those videos first. Now this is going to be a longer than typical uh, series of videos than I usually do, which is free videos, and the reason for that is because there's kind of two games in this box, because you have that United Kingdom side and you have the Pennsylvania side, and they play very differently, they really do. So what I'm actually going to do is do separate videos for the UK, and then after that I'll do my videos for Pennsylvania. So in this video, we will be looking at how to play just the UK side of the map, and then my next video will be the playthrough of the UK map, followed by my review. And I will, of course, as always, include links to those in the description. And I'll also include links to the Pennsylvania how to play playthrough and review in the description as well. So, what is Ticket to Ride UK? Well, as you can see, we have Big Ben, we have Foggy, we have 1900s clothing, well, apparently Sherlock Holmes, but he's really not in the game, I don't know why he's there. Um, a train, so this is obviously about the UK, and it's about trains. So, much with normal ticket to ride, it's about building those train lines and getting those victory points. But there's a slight difference in this, which is the technologies. So. Let's take it to the table and you can see how to play Ticket to Ride UK. Welcome once again to the table. This time we will be showing you how to play Ticket to Ride United Kingdom. Okay, so as always, let's start with the setup on this game. So the board that comes in the map pack five is double-sided. One side has the United Kingdom map that looks like so, very kind of watercolory esque and the other side is Pennsylvania and it does have written on it Pennsylvania. So first thing we want to do is make sure we have the board set out on the UK side. Next you'll need to get components out of either a original Ticket to Ride game or Ticket to Ride Europe and you'll need the victory point trackers as so and also the trains in ticket to ride uk you'll only be using 35 of the trains so be sure that you only get that many out so as with the other versions of ticket to ride victory points are tracked around the border of the board and apologies that not the whole board fits in, but you'll see why shortly. Um, so I've put the three point tracker tokens on the 100 space, which also acts as zero. The next thing that you need to do is to deal train cards to everyone. So Ticket to Ride UK comes with a new deck of train cards and you'll want to be using those rather than any of the decks that come with the other games. So with these, you'll need to look through the deck and pull out one locomotive for each player, as starting hands need to consist of a locomotive plus four other cards. So then shuffle the rest of the train cards, and deal four to each player. And that will be each player's starting hand of cards. You then, as with the other versions of Ticket to Ride, will want to put the deck near the board 
and set out the market of trains to buy, which is still five cards. Unlike with other versions of Ticket to Ride, it doesn't matter how many locomotives come out, you'll never reset the deck. Once you have dealt the train cards to the players and set out the market, you'll then need to give players tickets as with the other versions of Ticket to Ride. The UK edition, of course, comes with its own tickets and you can identify those by having this back. So shuffle the tickets up and deal five to each player. And the players will then look at those and pick at least three to keep. They can pick all five. The remaining tickets will be shuffled up and put in a draw pile for later on in the game in reach of all the players. So any tickets the players do not choose to keep will just get put to the bottom of that deck. The final part of setup for Ticket to Ride UK is the technology cards. So the technology cards are the bread and butter of what makes Ticket to Ride UK different to all the other versions. So the majority of what I'm explaining and going through in this video will focus on those. So I am going to go into quite a bit of depth about what each of the different technologies does um, as I lay them out on the table here. So you need to lay out all the technology cards so that people can see what is available to buy. So the first thing I'm going to lay out, we have here the Wales Concession. So the Wales Concession allows players to build routes to Wales. Um, you can tell if a route is to Wales as it will have the Welsh dragon symbol on the city. Initially, um, when you start playing, you can only build routes to England, which is marked by the English Lion and the Red Cross. So much as you have the Wales concession technology that allows you to build to Wales, there is also the Ireland and France concession. So buying that technology will allow you to build to routes both in Ireland and in France. Additionally, there is the same for Scotland. We have the Scotland concession. And each of the concessions gives the symbol for that location so you can tell where you are able to build to. The next technology we have is the mechanical stoker and this allows you to build routes that are free in length. At the start of the game you'll only be able to build routes that are one or two carriages in length. Next is the superheated steamroller. Now the superheated steamroller allows you to build routes that are four, five or six in length. It is possible to not buy the mechanical stoker that allows you to build routes of free length, but to go straight to the superheated steam boiler, which would mean you're able to build routes of four length in length, but not of three. Next, we have propellers. Now, not surprisingly, propellers allow you to go over water. So these allow you to do ferry routes. Now, ferry routes, as this card shows, have rounded ends, so that's the easy way to identify them. Um, all ferries are grey routes, uh, which if you've played original or Europe Ticket to Ride, then you know can be done with any colour. And obviously if you've played Europe, you've also played with ferries already, and they work in exactly the same way. Uh, the ferries will have a number of locomotive symbols on them and for each of those locomotive symbols you need to use a locomotive card. Next we have Booster. So Booster allows you to use any free train cards as a locomotive card. So it, this is a, an additional rule um, for Ticket to Ride UK and 
that is that normally you could use any four train cards as a locomotive and that is a locomotive that can be used for purchasing technology or for completing routes or as a locomotive for a ferry um, or as a wire. So the booster means you only need to use three cards rather than four and I'll go through more the details about using the cards later on. Next we have Boiler Lagin. So I'm a bit worried it might be coming off the screen here but we'll go one more there. So Boiler Lagging gives you one extra point for every route you complete after you've uh, bought the card. So normally you complete a one train route you'd get one point. If you have Boiler Lagging you'd get two points instead. Um, for a two train route you'd get three points rather than two and so on. So next we have the steam turbine. This card relates to the ferries and works very similar to the boiler turbine, sorry, to the boiler lagging, um, with the exception that it is for only for ferry routes, and in this case, you get an additional two points. Of course, the boiler lagging applies to all routes, so Therefore, if you have boiler lagging and a steam turbine and complete a ferry route, you would get three additional points. Next, we have double heading. And the way double heading works is that at the end of the game, when you are scoring for each of your completed tickets, for every completed ticket, you get an additional two points above what is stated on that ticket. So we have the right of way card. What this allows you to do is on your turn only, um, and the card never really goes in front of you, it will just be used for this turn and then comes back. Um, for that turn, you are able to build a route that someone else already has. So if we have a look at the board, say you needed Cambridge to Norwich to complete one of your tickets, and you're blue player, not red. You could buy right of way and then on that turn, if you have the cards, you can build Cambridge to Norwich also. And you just kind of push your trains in and you score points normally and it will count towards you completing that ticket. Okay, so that is the basic technologies. That's what's advised for a first game. Um, on top of that, there is also um, an advanced rule with advanced technologies that you can choose to play with or not. However, they're much more limited and they create a much more competitive experience than the other technologies. Um, however, I do like to use them. So with the advanced technologies, we have the thermo compressor. And the Firma Compressor, when you buy, much like with Right of Way, will only come to you for that turn and then goes back to the market for other people to buy. And this allows you to claim two routes rather than the normal one uh, in your turn. Okay, uh, so next we have Water Tenders. So the way Water Tenders work, is when you're taking the draw cards action and you are drawing blind off the top of the deck rather than drawing two cards you get to draw three cards so that can be very helpful for quickly building up cards in your hand next we have risky contracts now there is only one risky contracts and the way this works is that at the end of the game, when you're doing end scoring, if you have bought the Risky Contracts card, if you have the most tickets, um, completed tickets, that's not the most points from tickets, it's literally the number of tickets, you'll get a bonus 20 points. If, however, you don't have the most, you'll get minus 20 points. So it is a bit of a gamble. In a similar vein to Risky Contracts, we have Equalising Beam. Now, if you've played Droid Europe, it's similar 
to the European Express card. Um, so whoever buys that technology, if at the end of the game they have the longest route of trains, they'll get a bonus 15 points. But again, as with risky contracts, it is a gamble because if you don't, you'll have minus 15 points. It's important to note with both the risky contracts and the equalising bit, that you need to buy those early on. Not just because other players might buy them, but once you run out of cards in the draw deck and have to shuffle the discards to become the new draw pile, you then have to discard these if they've not yet been bought. So it's kind of saying you've got to buy them early on before you know what the outcome will be. I think that's a good mechanic. And finally, we have diesel power. So, Diesel power means that for every train route you complete, you need one less card. So if it was a two route, you'd only need one card. If it was a three, two cards, four, three cards, and so on. However, it will never mean that you don't need any cards. So if it is a one train route, you will still always need one card. Okay, so that is the game set up. Now let's go through how you actually play the game. Well, as with the other Ticket to Ride games, the aim of game, what you want to achieve is the most points, which are being tracked around the edge of the board throughout the game, and then there's a boost of points at the end of the game. So you're getting points throughout the game, partly from technologies giving you extra points for claiming routes, um, but obviously as you claim routes, you'll be getting points, and the longer the route, the more points you get, and that's an exponential increase. The other way you'll get points is from your tickets. So obviously during setup you were dealt tickets and chose to pick, keep whichever ones you wanted to keep. Um, and those tickets in the top left give you the points you'll get for completing that ticket. However, any of those tickets that you fail to complete, you'll then get minus that many points for. So how do you actually go about playing the game then? Well, as with the other Ticket to Rides, it's very similar in the choices you have. So you need to determine your first player. Um, as always, I think the best way to do that is to randomise it. Okay, so once you've determined the first player, they'll then take their turn and then play will progress clockwise round the table until the game ends. And the game will end once any player has two or fewer trains left out of their original 35 trains in their reserve that they could possibly buy. At that point, each additional player, other than the person who's triggered the end game, will get one final turn, at which point you'll count up the scores to see who wins. So the way a turn will work is you will have um, several choices you can make. The first thing you'll need to decide is whether or not to buy a technology card. Now this happens before any of the rest of your choice of actions um, and it does not count as one of your choice of actions. So if you've played normal ticket to ride this happens before your normal turn and what you can do is buy a single technology card, you can never buy more than one in a turn, by paying a cost in locomotives. And of course those locomotives can in Ticket to Ride UK be made up of four of any train card equals one locomotive. The cost of the technologies is denoted on the top right of the card. So if it has no number, it's one locomotive. If it has a number, that's the number of locomotives it will cost. So for instance, the steam turbine is two and double heading is four. So you will pay those to the train discard pile as normal and then you would take the card. So for example I could pay one and take the Wales concession that would allow, then allow me to build it, routes into Wales as already covered. You would then continue with your turn the same as you would in any other version of Ticket to Ride. So the options you have are to first take cards so you can either take cards from the available market, replacing as you do, and you can take up to two cards, unless it is a locomotive. If it is a locomotive, it counts as your two cards. Or you could draw cards blind off of here, 
and locomotives count as one in that case. Additionally, you can claim routes. Now, you will need to ensure that you have the correct technology to claim the route that you want to claim. At the beginning of the game, you can only claim routes that are in England and that are of a length of one or two and are land routes. You cannot claim any of the ferry routes. So if you want to build a longer route, you'll need to buy the technology that enables you to do that. If you want to buy a ferry, you'll need to buy the technology to build the ferry. And if you want to build to another country, you'll need the technology to do that. Many routes, you'll need multiple technologies to be able to claim. Additionally, um, as well as claiming a route, the other action you can do is to draw new tickets. So to draw tickets, you'll draw three off of the top of the deck. You'll look at what those three are and decide how many you want to keep. You must keep at least one of these routes. You could keep two or three, but you must keep one. Any that you do not keep would then go to the bottom of the ticket deck. Once you've taken your action, play will then pass to the next player. And that should be everything you need to know for how to play Ticket to Ride UK. Thanks for watching So You Can Play That Game. If you've enjoyed this first video in our Ticket to Ride UK series, please do watch the rest as well as the Pennsylvania videos. And of course, please check out the remaining videos on the channel, share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel. And as always, bye for now.